Welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. And for tonight, I'm going to show you the latest Ubuntu 17.10 Beta 2 Artful Artvark. And unfortunately, this one is still not something for beginners. I actually started this process <laughs> two hours ago, installing, uh, rebooting, updates, tweaking, and it's... I gave up. I am worn out, but I wanted to show you this before I go to bed and explain my position. Most of you probably know my feelings about the GNOME desktop. It's simply not for beginners, but I guess this is historic uh, with Ubuntu changing the default desktop environment after, what, six years from Unity, which I thought was fine, to the GNOME desktop, and it's the problems in the past continue to plague the GNOME desktop. I'll explain in a moment. First of all, running this inside a virtual machine, no problem. Installation process, great, a user-friendly installer. That's all fine. It plays very nice in a virtual machine. The Linux Mint Mate is the host, great for beginners, really for everybody, and also check out Ubuntu Mate. So let's run through this real quick. I did change the default uh, wallpaper. Right-click, change background. I get nothing unusual here. Uh, as far as the default applications go, there's one that kind of threw me off, but it's for, for the most part, uh, most part, the default apps are just fine. You can see here settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, background, uh, very, uh, I guess, newbie friendly. Uh, no problems here. Privacy and so forth. So let's, I do like the buttons on the right since I am right-handed. Uh, I installed some extensions and the GNOME desktop without specific extensions, it's it's just not as user friendly as it should be. I do like I do like this transparent dock here to the left. It kind of reminds me of the Unity dock. It's not. You have the I guess you can call it the start button. It's the applications tab here at the bottom left. Um, click to all and it shows. Well, it should show all. There we go. It's running a little slow in a virtual machine, but that is normal. Uh, for the best experience, I would install this as a full install if you happen to have a spare machine. So as far as the default apps, the installation process, the, the, the looks of this, the feel, it's perfectly fine. The problem is trying to get this to be well, a little bit more user-friendly, as it were. Uh, the Synaptic Package Manager was not installed uh, by default, I had to install that, uh, but it won't. Well, it won't. Uh, it won't start. Uh, the Ubuntu Software Center, or yeah, the the Software Center is the default app to install and delete software. It looks fine. It's it's great for beginners. It's colorful, easy to look at. Uh, I have no problem with that. As you get more advanced, um, the Synaptic Package Manager is probably uh, the way to go my opinion. If you hit the super key, this will bring up the activities and um, I think it's fine. Two workspaces here and the search tab bar at the bottom. Uh, Rhythmbox is installed by default perfectly fine and that this, there, there is one little quirk about this um, and again th this this is a beta so it's it's you know it's, it's it hasn't been finalized but where's the volume control? for rhythm box. I mean, I know there's a master volume here to the top right, but uh, and I was looking and I happened to hit calendar and you have uh, playback controls in the calendar section of the music player. Of course, every, every time I play music, I think of the calendar. Die. Okay, so I really don't know what's up with that. Okay, so as far as default, the uh, apps, installation process, I give it an A+. Here's where the problem goes. When you try to install extensions to customize this to make this user friendly, this just wore me out. Uh, and quite frankly, at the end, it turned out to be a pain in my ASS. So, normally you would go to um, extensions uh, .gnome.org and by default, this did not work. Uh, even though it's specifically made for the GNOME desktop, it did not work. Now you guys try to figure that one out. Uh, it took me about three tries to get this to work. I had to install some other stuff. I won't get into that. Uh, 
but it's working now, sort of, but not everything works. So normally, uh, wow, there's 86 pages of extensions. That is a lot. Uh, let's try, and some work and some don't. That continues to plague the known desktop with extensions. Let's try a simple doc. Let's, let's, let's see if this works. I have no clue. All right, so I have a doc at the bottom. And let's see here. We'll click on to install. Install. As you can see, error, it's not going to work. So I'll get out of that. And by the way, I should have said this earlier, but in, ig ig ignore the very top panel here and the panel at the bottom. That's for the virtual machine. Sorry about that. So I had to install the GNOME Tweak tool uh, to get GNOME extensions, well, to customize your machine to make it easier by using the GNOME Tweak tool to turn the extensions on or off. Without the Tweak tool, it's pretty much worthless. Uh, this OS is, pr is pretty much worthless. So. Uh, briefly here, I'll go to Tweaks, just type in TW, which is great. I love the search function, very user-friendly. If we go to Extensions, and this is what this is all about. We have a night slider here. This doesn't work. Change the light temperature. I couldn't get that to work. Uh, the simple dock, as you see here, exclamation point, that means usually means it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, I can do that, but I don't think it's going to work, I think. Launch, and I don't think it's working. Is it? I guess there's no dock at the bottom. Okay. So yeah, it's when you spend the time to make your system user friendly, it may or may not work, and it's just it's just too time consuming, and uh, it's just not friendly enough. The shortcut here, the the synaptic button, great idea. Uh, synaptic will not launch. Now it could be, it could be. To be fair, if if you this do this as a full install, uh, it may run better, or the synaptic uh, package manager may launch. I don't know. Uh, but as it stands now, uh, I never recommended this for beginners. I still cannot. I have a feeling even an advanced user would find this worn out or find this tires tiresome and be worn out and probably think what I think and say this is a major pain. But that's it. That's my quick look at Ubuntu 1710 Beta 2 Artful Aardvark for what it's worth. Um, it's just not for me. That's all I have for this one. I'm going to leave you with the beautiful picture of the Amalfi Coast. Someone posted on Facebook. On that note, I'll say enjoy your technology. Please don't test and drive. Arrivederci.